how am I gonna stand without my head being halfway out of the frame? I need a chair. Hey guys, hey, hey. We are in a sit down location, which is definitely weird for me because I'm used to vlogging all the time, but this is a serious video. A lot of you guys have always been wondering how I keep getting VIP tickets or really close tickets for K-pop concerts. And I'm here to tell you all my tricks and hacks and advice. So keep watching if you guys want to know how to get VIP tickets or just close tickets in general or just like the tickets of your dreams. For those of you who are new, I'm Manuela. For those of you who aren't new, hey! Oh, also before I start guys, I want to tell you guys who I've seen in concert and how close I've been to the stage because I've been to so many K-pop concerts to the point where I can I can't even count. I've been to BTS three times. I had GA tickets for the first BTS concert I was. I was literally like second row in the GA pit. It was insane. Best concert ever. <laughs> and then the other two times I went, I was not even aiming for like really close seats. But I did get floor seats for the second one. And then for the third one, I was like on the side. Um, the next concert I've been to is Super M. And I got really, really good tickets. I got floor tickets and they were only $50, which is rare because they had a limited amount of floor tickets that were $50. Most of the floor tickets were VIP that were like $200, but I didn't want to spend $200. But I ended up getting the $50 tickets that were all the so insane, so insane. And I had the best view. Like, it was too good to be true. <laughs> Another concert I've been to is Seventeen, and I was also four for Seventeen. You guys took time out of your busy days to come to me. Third concert I've been to. Boy, if you don't. I'm like losing count, but I went to TXT recently. You probably saw my vlog for that. And I got VIP for that, which insane. Yeonjun grabbed my hand, literally. I also went to a P1 Harmony concert in Chicago, but it got canceled. But I also had really good seats. I got um, high touch for that, but I ended up not even being able to go because it didn't work out for me. But hopefully I get to go. Oh, no, I get to see P1 Harmony in a few weeks because I'm going to KCON. And I got GA for KCON. And I got really close seated seats for day two. Literally, like, guys, I think that... You can trust me, and I'm willing to help you guys, like, in on the secrets, because these concerts are the best, the best of the best things that's ever happened to me, and they're so fun, and I'm so grateful that I even get to experience them all, and I hope you guys get to experience them all after watching this video. I'm gonna go about this in steps, because I feel like that's the easiest way, because there's so much I gotta tell you guys. But basically, one of the main tips that I have for you, so tip number one, Wi-Fi. When it comes to ticket sales, Wi-Fi is like a giant discussion. It's either you get really good tickets if you have really good Wi-Fi, or you get really good tickets if you have the worst Wi-Fi in the world. There's really no in-between. So for Wi-Fi, it honestly depends on which app you are using. Keep this in mind, okay? Write that down. Write it down. I feel like Ticketmaster is more reliant with people who have better Wi-Fi, and I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know. But the app AXS works easiest for people who don't have that good, good of Wi-Fi. Which is me. Which is me. I literally have the worst Wi-Fi in the world. Also, if you don't know how to check how good your Wi-Fi is, go on Google and just type in, like, Wi-Fi test. And then it'll, like, test out the speed of your Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is, like, mine, and it goes to, like, 40 MPS, which is so bad. <laughs> mine has gone to, like, 27 before. It's just really bad. But if your Wi-Fi is like that, do not be discouraged. I promise you, because... AXS loves us. I have had the best luck with AXS at my apartment. Don't know how, my Wi-Fi is really bad, but every time I use AXS, I'm in like a minute into the into the line. Like, I don't even have to wait. For example, if ticket sales are at 5 p.m., I'm in at 5.01, which is insane. But AXS has always been really good to me. I don't know what brand my Wi-Fi is. Like, when I tell you my Wi-Fi is horrible, like, I don't even pay for my Wi-Fi. It came with the apartment. Like, it's that bad. So I think AXS just, like, loves horrible Wi-Fi. I don't know. But I will say, with Ticketmaster in my Wi-Fi, I have 
2000 and plus every single time every single time but my friend has the most amazing luck when it comes to Ticketmaster. literally they never have to go through the 2000 plus ever they're always either like 600 in line or like 20th in line and i know guys that's insane like imagine not having to wait into 2000 plus but i want to tell you how the difference between me and my friend who doesn't have to wait in the 2000 plus line is she has amazing wi-fi like we did the mps test thingy the wi-fi speed test hers was 600 plus on mps so if your wi-fi is that good you probably don't have to wait in the 2000 plus either okay or the people who are probably first in line have like a thousand like i'm telling you like you have to have good wi-fi for taking about start horrible wi-fi for access is basically what i'm telling you you may think that's literally insane but that's how it works for me if my faves are having a concert and it's through ticketmaster i'm going to go to my friend to help me with tickets if her faves are having a concert and it's through axs i'm going to help her get tickets like it's just like a that's how it works okay that's how it works moving along though step two i almost said three but two figure out how many people are going with you to the concert because Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, if you're going with a bunch of people, it might be harder to get really close and good tickets. If you're aiming for good tickets, like VIP, you want to limit yourself to just going with one other person. And I know it probably sucks, maybe you don't want to split up with your group, but I promise you, like, even if you're going with one other person, like, it's still so much fun. And if anything, the VIP, like, area, when it comes to concerts, is like you guys will still be like pretty close to each other so if you guys both get like if your group gets split let's say you're in a group of four and you go two and two you guys will still have like such a good time so i really highly recommend you to just split into twos if that is possible if you have a group of three that is also fine i went to the txt concert in new york which i have a vlog for down in the description i went with a group of three and we ended up getting vip and we had the best time ever best time ever the less people you're going with the better chance you have of getting vip or the tickets that you want step three budget when it comes to ticket prices it's hectic sometimes when you check out the price is not the same as what it was said on the website it's there's tax it's if you're traveling out of state for the concert like you gotta you just gotta like save lots of money this is like <laughs> Like, even if you, nobody has announced a tour date yet, just save. Because you truly don't know when it's going to happen. And it can happen like that. And it, it, trust me, I've been through it. It's it's not fun. I would say if you're saving for VIP, depending on the group, I would save $400. I'm, I'm saying this with, like, the most true intent ever. Like, let's say the ticket, the VIP tickets are 250 before tax. After tax, they're going to be, like, a good, like, $312. That's what that's what happened to me. So if you want VIP tickets, set aside like four hundred if they're two hundred fifty, okay? Um, if they're like seventeens VIP tickets, which are so expensive, they were like five hundred dollars. Um, definitely set aside like a good seven hundred, maybe. It it makes it seem like less damage if it's more if you save more and then you spend less. It always it, it seems like less damage in a way. So. <laughs> I don't even know what step we're on. I think we're on step four. Do not be discouraged if you don't get the tickets that you want. Because honestly, there's so many ways you can still get them. And I am here to tell you all those tricks and hacks. If you don't get the tickets that you want, if you can't see them, if they're gone, if the section that you want is gone, here is what you do. You are going to wait. Stay on the website. And what I do personally, I don't know how to describe this, but like if it's on Ticketmaster, let's say, and you want two tickets and the tickets that you want are gone, they're gone. Just keep going from one ticket, like press the one ticket and then go back to two. One, two, one, two. Do that for a good 30 minutes and I guarantee you they're going to pop up. So many people have tickets in their cart and then they just release them after and it's... <laughs> It's very frustrating how people do that, but they do it. And even like the bots, the bots do that too, which is... <laughs> but so far in this game, waiting has been my best friend. For TXT, I had MOA pre-sale. I got into the Ticketmaster thing for New York. We got in, even with my friend's fast Wi-Fi, the VIP tickets were gone. They were gone. We were like, what the heck? And we kind of exited out of the thing and we're like waiting for the LA tickets. But while we were waiting for the LA tickets, 
we went back onto the New York one just to take a little peek. And there were the tickets. There were the VIP tickets. Three for us. Literally the perfect, most perfect moment. And we got them an hour and a half after the sale. We got VIP an hour and a half after the sale happened because we waited. Yeah, it's crazy. Step five. Step five is gonna be connected to step four because this is, but this is a very important thing to remember as well. That's why it's a whole different step. Only do what I recommended with Ticketmaster. Do not do that with AXS. Do not go from one ticket to ticket. You can't even do that with AXS, first off. But for AXS, you have to refresh the page, but do it with caution because AXS is evil and they like to block your entire Wi-Fi. The amount of times they block my Wi-Fi is so insane. They block it for 24 hours, by the way, and you cannot use your Wi-Fi to buy tickets for that entire day after they block it. So if you want to refresh, only do it like a good 20 times. Don't, I don't even know how many times I refresh it for them to block me, but I've, it was a lot of times. So if you're gonna refresh, just do it with caution and carefully and not too many times. But if your Wi-Fi gets blocked, you can just use your LTE on your phone, but it's not as fast, you know? So it's like, uh. or you can use VPN, which, yeah. But if you if your Wi-Fi gets blocked, they won't let you buy tickets like at all. Like, no, no. Step six. If none of that advice that I just gave you works, box office, day of the concert. This <laughs> is obviously last resort type of thing. Nobody wants to do this. It's literally, no, nobody wants to do this. But if, if it comes to it, do it. When it comes to the box office, you literally have to line up like, I like, <laughs> I've never done this, so I don't know, but I've had friends who've done this multiple times and they got VIP waiting in this in this long line for various hours. But I think the earliest they told me that they lined up was like 3 a.m. Yeah, that's why this is literally the last resort. But if you're down for it, you're determined to get the tickets that you want, go in the box office line 3 a.m. or earlier and just wait. Face value too. Do not even like buy resale tickets, like literally just do that. Or you can wait until 30 minutes after the concert starts and then buy tickets. And I think the tickets even for like below face value, like 30 minutes after the concert started, which is great, but like also you miss 30 minutes of the concert. So maybe not do that. So I don't know, up to you, but those are options as well. So do not be discouraged. If you guys have any more questions other than what I've answered, comment them down below and I will reply to your comment and answer them for you if I can. But that was the video and I hope you guys learned some things about concerts and hopefully I helped you for the next time your faves go on tour because I, I, I want you guys to succeed. I want you guys to get the tickets that you want. And that's exactly why I filmed this video so I can help you guys and hopefully the end result is positive. So good luck you guys, you got this. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below any more questions that you have, and yeah, follow the socials too, of course, but 